What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In a super quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.4 for the Garden Awakens. This has just released, and in this quick video, you'll find out exactly how you can mod your own game super easily. If you're looking for a Minecraft server host to play the new update, then I'd highly recommend checking out Apex Hosting, where you can currently get 25% off your first invoice by using the code Apex25. Apex Hosting are a fantastic Minecraft hosting platform with powerful DDoS protection, great support, super low latency, automated backups, and much more. If you're interested, click the link down below, get started, and select either Java, Bedrock, or any other game for that matter. Select the size of your server, and in no time, you'll have a powerful Minecraft server that you can mod to your heart's content. Thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. All right, so to set up the Fabric client, all you need to do is head across to the next link down below to download Fabric. Choose Download for Windows here, and once it's done downloading, open it up. This is the Fabric install. All you need to do is choose 1.21.4 from the version selector up here and then choose install. I'd recommend choosing create profile as that'll make life quite a bit easier. Then once it's installed, you'll get a pop-up like this asking you to install the Fabric API. To do so, click the next link down below and you'll find this Fabric API on Modrinth. Choose download in the top right, followed by selecting your game version as 1.21.4, then choose download. Once it's done, we'll need to open our Minecraft folder and drop this into the mods folder where you can install more mods in the future as well. Hold start and press R, so the Windows key and R, and inside of this pop-up window, type in percentage app data percentage backslash dot min and you should see dot minecraft pops up click this or type it in and choose ok now a new file browser will open up and this is your minecraft install folder you'll find a mods folder in here otherwise you'll need to just create a new folder and call it mods exactly like this and opening this we can now install mods add the fabric api here so i'll just drag the fabric api from my downloads into here and there you go we've now installed the fabric api now at this point we can open up the launcher and play the game though if you happen to have issues installing fabric there's a super simple workaround open up the launcher as i have and in here make sure you have the latest release 1.21.4 selected here choose play and wait for it to download if you're watching this in the future choose installations at the very top new installation and from the version drop down here select 1.21.4 or whatever fabric version you've selected then click create now you should have the fabric loader as an option here or a custom one if you created that before we play the game i'd recommend checking the installations tab at the very top followed by finding fabric clicking the three dots next to it and choosing edit here if we choose more options you'll be able to customize the amount of ram that might Minecraft is given for better performance, especially with lots of mods installed. As you can see, I have XMX 2G here, meaning Minecraft can use up to 2 gigabytes of RAM on our system. To find out how much RAM you have, hit Control Shift and Escape to open up your Windows Task Manager. Inside of here, on the Performance tab, under Memory, you'll see your total amount of RAM over here. You'll also, at the bottom, find the amount of available RAM on your system. Essentially, you can give Minecraft as much of your available RAM as you wish. If you're going to be hosting a server on your own PC, instead of using someone like Apex Hosting, you'll also need to leave some extra RAM for that in order to run. You'll also need to leave some RAM for Windows, browsers, YouTube, etc. Let's say that you have 12 gigs of RAM in your system. Windows is using four of them. You have eight left that you can give to Minecraft. I wouldn't recommend giving Minecraft all of your eight remaining gigs. Rather, give it eight minus one, or however much available RAM you have, minus one, just to leave some headroom for your browser and things like that. So I'd enter, if I have eight gigs left, seven in here, some XMX 7G. Ultimately, you'll need to figure this out for yourself. It's super simple. Click save when you're happy and now you're able to play Fabric Loader with the Fabric API installed and in the future some more mods. Once it launches up, there you go. We're now running Minecraft 1.21.4 Fabric modded. That's it. From here, you can enjoy the game. If you wish to install more mods, just head back to Modrinth, discover content, followed by mods. On the left, select Minecraft 1.21.4 under Game Versions, and under Loaders, select Fabric. Then you can scroll down the list and find mods you want. I'll install the mod menu, for example. I'll choose Download. Select my game version as 1.21.4, Fabric, and Download. Now we're able to open up that same mods folder and just drop it in here. In order for it to load this mod, just restart your Minecraft client. So I'm relaunching it. We should now, 
on the main menu have a mods button that shows us our currently installed mods. Super simple. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. If you're going to be hosting your own Minecraft server, you'll find a self-hosting guide linked down below. Or to get the most out of 1.21.4 without hosting it yourself, you'll find a link to this video's sponsor, Apex Hosting. A huge shout out to them once more. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.